Most of my life is spent on the internet. And that's all right, but the second my internet goes down, you see the true me. You see Adrian in his natural habitat. Without such modern comforts like Tumblr, <coughs> Facebook, and the polio vaccine, I'm nothing. <laughs> I'm not good at flirting either, which is horrible. And I feel like it would be better if I was good at it, so I could do something with females instead of just looking at them. From a push. <laughs> but I remember the last time I tried to hit on someone was horrible as per usual. So she was standing on the other side of the lunchroom, and I knew her vaguely, and I thought she looked really nice. So I was going to tell her that. So I walked over, and I said, oh, you look nice today. And she looked at me, and she said, I have a boyfriend! And I said, oh, me too! His name is Chad, we're in love. <laughs> Please don't look at me. My friends told me that maybe I can fool people into thinking I'm attractive, which is my only hope. And they said, okay, Adrian, just get in some good lighting. I was like, that's, that's not how that works at all. But I tried it, and I found good lighting. I found that my two best lightings are dim lighting and complete darkness. <laughs> The only way I could really get worse with females is if I actively vomited on them every time they used a pronoun. Adrian, I'm having a nice pronoun! <laughs> yeah, my last girlfriend was pretty cool, but I had some problems with her. Mostly because she was short, and I want a girlfriend that's enormous. I want her to carry me on my back like Yoda. <laughs> I want her to lift me up and protect me from harm. Honey! Hi, how are you today? Oh, oh, cool. You might have noticed that my girlfriend Slagatha is a nine tentacled beast from the 13th realm, but I don't judge, so. I think the worst part of an ending a relationship is if you're broken up with, and then you see things that remind you of the person. I remember recently I was walking through the hallway, and I was with a friend of mine, and we're there, and I see a water bottle, and I just kind of break down for a second. I'm there, like, Jack, I can't handle this. He's like, Adrian, what, what's up? The water bottle! What about it? She was like 80% water. <laughs> <laughs>